Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the 16 brand new mount models that have been data mined from the Battle for Azeroth Alpha. And just because I can, I'm going to be ranking them, starting with mostly indifferent to, all the way up to so excited that it gets me kind of squeaky. Number 16, the Xandalari Direhorn. The sin that this one has committed to land it at the very bottom of the list is looking pretty much exactly like the existing Direhorns in the game. I'm sure it's not identical, but it is very much just kind of a... I wouldn't even say reimagining. It's a continued imagining of the Direhorn mounts that we already have in the game, but it does look really good, and from the looks of it, this is going to be the racial mount for the Xandalari trolls. That does mean that unless we get a recolor somewhere else in the game, this is almost certainly going to be Horde only, and it will be available to use on any of your Horde characters once you have unlocked the Xandalari troll race. Number 15, the Vicious War Basilisks. It's nice that they always seem to have more animals to just slap some armor on and turn into a Vicious War mount. In this case, it kind of looks like the armor like completely covers the Basilisk's eyes, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. You know, that's why you have reins. You're good, you know, it's a trust thing. As perhaps an evolutionary adaptation to being the war variety of Basilisk, he seems to have like an ax, not attached to his tail, but like literally part of his tail. So that's kind of cool slash bizarre. And I kind of liked the little, uh, little noodle beard. I'm digging the noodle beard. And all of this reminds me that I should probably grind out some threes. Getting a little bit behind on the vicious mounts. <laughs> Don't forget the vicious mounts are now account wide, so once you've unlocked it in one character, your entire account can use it, so you don't have to learn how to PvP on the character that you need the mount on. Just have one PvP alt and believe in yourself and you can have any vicious mount that you like. Number 14 is this new hyena thing. Kinda looks like they took a bear and then they like squished it and now it's a hyena. This one comes in a ton of colors. I'll be interested to see if they're all from one source, like a ret vendor, or if they're kind of sprinkled throughout the game Warlords of Draenor style. And then the other thing about this mount that kind of gives me Warlord throwbacks is in Warlords, we had like a bunch of brand new mount models that were really cool and vicious and savage and you didn't really see a whole lot of people riding them outside of Warlords. Now part of that was because back in Warlords some of those mounts had some bizarre running animations. But I think the other part of it is that the kind of mounts that people tend to really stick with aren't necessarily like the gritty vicious savage ones. So I'm really interested to see how much staying power a mount like this has, but it definitely looks really cool in a I squished a bear kind of way. Number 13 is the Blood Feaster. Somewhere, someone out there is really excited for that thing. I don't know who. I'm not sure if I ever want to meet them, but I respect their right to get things that they want. <laughs> this mount gives me very, very strong StarCraft Zerg vibes. It does have flying animations that doesn't guarantee that it's going to fly, but I think it's pretty likely. And as a flying mount, this thing is kind of gross and kind of cool. Number 12, the Krog. Speaking of mounts that I need to spend more time looking at in order for them to grow at me, what is this thing? What is it? It looks like a cross between the middle stage of the creature in the second season of Stranger Things, if you've seen that, and like a porg from, you know, it's just so weird. It's kind of got like a cute sort of like huggable fat tummy, but you know, there's also like a bunch of teeth. I can't decide if it's cute or not. I'm, I'm going to need some opinions from you guys here. Number 11, new horses. Now these have a couple of different variations and of course quite a few different recolors. I'm kind of lumping them all together under the same new horses category here for the sake of the video, but these look really good. I'm really hoping that this is a precedent and maybe this has already been set and I'm just like glossing over it in my brain, but I really hope that they continue making higher res versions of what were basically the, the original starting class mounts. I don't want them to replace the original starting class mounts, but I want them to make like really shiny looking versions of them available later in the game. Specifically, I want an updated elf style, not heavily armored saber cat, like a rideable saber cat that's been like super updated with these amazing new graphics that they can do these days. I want that. So the horse is cool. I'm very excited for the horse. Some of the variations of it look gorgeous, but I, I really want a cat. Number 10, a new donkey. It's been a while since we had a good donkey, or maybe we've never had one. We've had goats. I think goats are different from donkeys. It's been a while since I've been to a good petting zoo. But in any case, here's the donkey, check it out. Who doesn't love a good donkey? And this thing gives me very, very strong flashbacks to the first mount that I got in Black Desert Online. If you guys have played that, you get like a free donkey at level 20 as your first mount and you can like pack a bunch of stuff into its bags or whatever. The black version of that, and I know it's just a donkey and that's why it looks like that, but it looks exactly like this donkey and I kind of liked that mount. I rode it long after I had faster horses. So, you know, I'm kind of excited for this. 
Number 9. The Goblin Hovercraft Building on the legacy of our 2017 BlizzCon mounts, which were insane, and I still get a little bit freaked out whenever I press my random favorite mount button and it puts me onto like a big ship. This thing is wild! Look at it! Look at all the different pieces and the moving, and this is just such a cool mount. I'm really hoping that this isn't horde only. I could see it very easily being horde only, but I don't know, I can dream. And yeah, this seems like one of those mounts that's really cool and flashy and impressive to look at, but it's something that I may not end up riding super often because it's just like a lot going on. Sometimes I like riding a more compact and straightforward flying mount so that I feel a little bit more centered in my character. Is that a real thing? Does anybody else get that? Number 8, the Hive Mind. So this one probably would have been like a 10 or even an 11 because it's just like a celestial pile of goo. But it got bumped up a couple slots because number one, we've never had a celestial pile of goo to ride around as a mount before. And number two, take a look at the, the text on it. And I don't understand, and I don't know if anybody like fully understands yet, maybe we need more info from like an actual playable alpha, but it says that it is a multi-seat fly mount, and you can link to the hive mind via joined hive mind to increase its movement speed, stacks based on the number of players. That's just weird. Do you get like multiple people on the mount, and they all glom together and can go to the same location? like really fast like could you get a whole raids worth of people on these things and make like a big like eve online size spaceship and then fly that to your raid that would be so weird is any are we gonna is that a th is that happening number seven the crowlusk crowlusk it's not a real word so i don't know how to say it i think this thing might be lost because much like the blood feaster it looks straight out of StarCraft. This thing looks straight out of StarCraft. It's kind of freaky looking, but you know, if you pretend that it's a turtle, you know, that'll help you adjust. And it's got surprisingly friendly looking eyes. When you look at this thing, you just get a feeling that they could really easily make like a two hour Pixar style movie about how some outcast child that doesn't fit in, you know, finds it and then learns how to befriend it. And then in the process of befriending it, manages to like bridge some gaps in his community and be a hero or fight pirates or something, I don't know. But yeah, he's kind of cute. I mean, he's like, he's got kind of like a shovel tusk head, and I mean, those are cool. I mean, look, 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 look at this little face. Number six, the Gladiators Proto Drakes. Got a couple of different colors of these for hopefully a couple different seasons of PvP. They are all teeth and no eyes. Once again, we have the PvP mounds with armor that completely covers their eyes. And to be fair, all aggression and no vision is basically how I PvP. I'm not usually super well acquainted with where I'm standing. When I first saw the name for this, I was very surprised to hear that they were doing Proto Drakes again. But looking at it, I think for me, it's a distinct enough change from the existing Proto Drakes that we had before that I don't think they're like reusing too much. I think that it's like a cool new mount that's gonna be very desirable. I'm interested to see what the gladiator PvP community thinks of them. All, you know, 12 to 14 of them. <laughs> Number 5, the Pterodax. Pterodax was previously a pet with the Pterodax hatchling available from archaeology, and now we have a grown-up, stretched-out, brand new model extra bone slapped on the back Pterodax mount. And I just love that it kind of looks like some of the big scary bone dragons that we've had before but it also looks very distinctly like its own thing. I'm really excited for this. I kind of hope it's another archaeology thing because to be honest with you, the Legion archaeology rewards were kind of underwhelming to me. Ghost boost aside. And then I'm always excited to have more precedents for creatures that were pets first and then became mounts later because that just gives me hope that one day they're gonna let me ride a bunny. Number four, the giant parrot. So this is one of the mounts that we actually knew about beforehand. Um, it was featured very briefly in some of the BFA like hype promo materials when they first announced it. I was excited then and I am excited now. I have a special place in my heart for unarmored real life animals that are put into WoW without like a whole lot of extra imagination, which I know sounds boring, but like the pure animals, when you get to just ride, you know, a raven or a parrot in this case, or a bear, you know, I really, really like that. So I'm very excited about this. This really makes me want to make an alt that does exclusively pirate RP. I guess it would have to be an outlaw rogue. You get the trans monk for it, you ride around in your parrot, you put on your blood cell admiral title, you're just, you know, that just sounds like a great day. Number three, bees. I'm pretty sure that people are going to be either more or less excited for this mount, depending largely on their real life feelings, you know, about bees. I'm really curious to see what the mount sounds are of these, because I think it would be really funny if you just had like a swarm of players, you know, together as bees 
that were, you know, all making like the B sounds. And I think that would be a really good implementation of this like hive mind player movement stacking effect because this is the first instance of us getting an animal in the game as a mount that is like a hive mind animal. To my knowledge, we don't yet have a termite mount and we don't yet have an ant mount. So wouldn't it be cool if when you were within a certain range of another player on a bee mount, your bees went a little bit faster so that you could create bee swarms through WoW? Wouldn't that be fun? I don't think it's any weirder than the goopy brain thing. So, you know, I can dream. Number two, look at this frog. Look at this frog. Look at the frog's running animation. It hops, it hops along. It's just like, and it's so big and it has such a big frog belly. And oh my goodness, you have to see the, um, check out the mount special. I can't describe to you how excited I am for this mount. And I also can't describe for you why I'm so excited for this mount. On one hand, it's the same thing I mentioned before of like, an animal just being put into WoW without too much extra stuff. It's the same reason that I like the bee. But it's, I think it's the animations. The animations just sell it for me. I'm so excited for this. Like with most of these mounts, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to get it, but I do know that whatever it is, we're gonna make it happen because look at its belly. Finally, number one, the data mind mount model that I am personally most excited for, the Brutosaur. Look at it, look at the, it's got, it's got the neck and it's basically like this thing basically stepped right out of Land Before Time. And you know, as a kid, I spent a lot of time with Land Before Time, you know, I wanted to eat tree stars. I tried eating maple leaves. They did not taste very good. And it's, it's, it's just so beautiful and peaceful looking. And I'm just, I'm just so ready to welcome one into my life. It's so, it's got, it's just the detail and the colors and it's like a brand new mount model like you know that you haven't seen this thing before and then the spot on the back of it where you sit it's like a little cabana it's like a little you know it's like a little hut it's a cabin it's a vacation on a dinosaur i need that so yeah those are the 16 new mount models that have been data mined from the battle for azeroth alpha Keep in mind, this is both alpha and data mining, so none of these are guaranteed to make it into the game. I did not show all the specific recolors here. There are more colors available in many of these mounts. I will link the Wowhead page with the full list in the description below this video. I'm really curious to see which mounts are making the top of your lists, like which ones you guys are most excited for. So if you have an opinion, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.